Go, girl, go, girl, go. Go, go. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah, she goes. We're gonna catch her. No, I, uh, living in living in Colorado is a story in itself. So we just had an awesome shoot with Chaco Love. We love those guys so much, and we're so grateful to be working with them. We is now getting Drony Baloney going. Drony Baloney. Actually, her name's Roxy. But. <laughs> that is true. Drony Baloney. Oh, you want fun now? This is cool. Okay. Ooh. She's a beaut. A little sparky. Stop it to the church. I pass along the way. While I got down on my knees, and I began to pray. You know Good morning. Buenos dias. So today we are out in Fruta, Colorado. We uh, got in late last night. Sometimes camping is really unique like this where you get into a place and you don't even know really where you're at until you wake up that morning and then you look around and it's freaking incredibly gorgeous. So we're out in this, uh, Fruit is known for some epic mountain biking in like the high desert. So we came out to these roads that really just went out into nothing. And so we saw that this was BLM land and there's just nothing out here. So we said, let's pitch a tent and, uh, we woke up this morning and lo and behold, it's an incredible scene. Chance and Abby are down here getting stoked for a big day of mountain biking. And uh, yeah, we are going up to Montana first. We are not going to LA just yet. We uh, are gonna go to Montana. So we're doing a, a little road trip through Utah, do some biking, do some adventuring. Stop in Montana, see the folks, drop some things off, and then we will head out to the West Coast. But until then, we're gonna uh, do some biking here in Fruita today. And Laura, a little bit of Utah. Good morning. It's what day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday. We're taking a little coffee break. Puppuccino break. Ah, oh, yeah. Up. Breakfast burritos. Yeah. From our lovely friend. If you're in Denver, you have to go to the Mexican restaurant, Arujos. It's up in Jefferson Park. It's a little local Mexican joint. It's only like 26th Street. 26 and Elliott. Super low keyed. You wouldn't think anything of it. Easily one of the best Mexican places. And the people are the kindest, most hospitable people ever. I swear to you on this, I will put my life on this because this woman who runs the place, we told her we were leaving. We've been going there for a few weeks and we told her we were leaving and that's the last time we're gonna be there for a while because we're moving. And out of nowhere, we went to pay our bill and she gives us this bag full of burritos. She said, well, you're gonna be on your drive. You're gonna need some breakfast burritos. So we have all these breakfast burritos that uh, we've been eating on this trip. This woman is literally fueling us heading out to Montana. So her name is Alicia, so thank you. Muchisimas gracias, Alicia. Because that is an incredible sign of kindness. Doesn't know us that well, just we come in and eat uh, a lot of the enchiladas and tacos that she makes, and mm -hmm. she said thank you so much. So because you've helped or supported my business, I'm gonna support you guys. That's community. She also gave me her personal phone number. She wrote it down on a piece of paper and told me to give her a call when we arrived safely in Los Angeles. She's like, make sure you call and let me know that you guys made it okay. Wrote her name, the name of the restaurant, and her personal number. So yeah, thank you, Alicia. You're the best. Yeah, amazing. Like, who does that? I'm coming in. I'm 
I'm making some biscuits and gravy. So Abby does not think this is a nutritional meal, which it probably isn't. Mountain House, I've liked these guys for a long time because they make these freeze-dried meals. Abby's a health nut, so she don't like no biscuits and gravy. That's okay because when you're camping, I think you can let a couple things slide. Let's interview the woman herself. Are you not a fan of biscuits and gravy? I'm eating my granola bar. <laughs> yeah, she eats her granola bar. <laughs> but Chance and I, we doing the old biscuits and gravy. Buttermilk biscuits with gravy and pork patty crumbles. Sounds pretty good to me, really. Uh, and yeah, look where we're at, guys. Got some cows over there. Got the book cliffs up there. And we're kind of just out on the old open range. Chance is uh, playing with his frisbee. And it's a beautiful day to do some biking. So we're gonna go hit some single track. What do you think, Chance? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Woo! How you feeling? Tired. So good. How are you feeling, dude? So good. Feeling great. A little tired. Pretty hot. <laughs> Not much water in the desert. I'm biking at 1 p.m. And we decided to do a bike ride at high noon. A little stupid, but a little ballsy. That's what we do here. Mm. Now we're gonna go jump in the Colorado River, get some water, maybe some ice cream. Get that dare cream blizzard for the baby. We are driving to a tiny little town just on the other side of the border between um, Utah and Colorado. It's technically in Utah, but um, it's called Cisco. This is crazy, a train's going by. Nice, he's back. We're sitting in a coffee shop, Aspen coffee shop this morning in Fruta. And this guy sat down kind of behind us and Wade and I were talking about our journey and where we were thinking of staying tonight and this dude goes or wade mentioned something about cisco and this dude kind of overheard us talking he said actually there's one person that lives there it's this woman named eileen it's a tiny little town technically she owns like most of the town and it's there all there is is a post office and then her house <laughs> oh, he's so so buddy oh he gave us her email we emailed her and she replied back and she said yeah like just bring 50 bucks in cash and <laughs> um you guys can stay in the post office tonight absolutely crazy stay tuned for this adventure so last night we had the opportunity to stay here an old post office in a ghost town in eastern utah we're in the town of cisco what's going in and uh, Abby and I stayed here last night. Kind of a cool little remodel they did here, but this was the original post office of this old west town. It used to be a train depot, the trains right over there from the Rio Grande that came through here, probably in the late 1800s, early 1900s, or I guess, no, sorry, late, eight, yeah, late 1800s, early 1900s, and uh, it just became an abandoned ghost town. Um, there was a bunch of dilapidated buildings and just kind of a bunch of rubble that just lay adrift here for many, many years. And then a really cool woman that we met last night. But this woman is is taking, she bought the town, number one. Number two, she came in here and is doing ton of remodeling and renovations and kind of repurposing these old falling apart buildings and turning them into kind of a creative artist haven she's trying to make this an artist community in the spring and summer or spring and fall they bring artists out from all over the country and then they try to take all this fallen apart lumber and steel and aluminum and turn it into cool little art pieces and livable things such as what abby and i stayed in last night there's the chicken coop there's the, there's the bus there and again, there's there's a little home here, uh, but it's just these little tiny homes scattered in the prairie, <clears throat> and uh, it's really cool. I mean, I love old history of the West, and you get a feel for kind of living out here on the prairie. 
it's pretty desolate let's be honest here uh yeah i mean there's nothing it's wide open little house on the prairie kind of stuff but pretty amazing that <clears throat> this woman <laughs> came in here and like you know here's the bathroom let's take a look at this an old tire kind of an old tin door and go on in you know there's an old fan there's just all this old tin that she's put together to make the bathroom kind of cool i love these kinds of things though they're just little gems in the middle of nowhere and then it looks like abby found is this a goosebumps or else dang. damn this is a goosebumps oh, that's kind of nice Super nice. <laughs> so yeah thank you for the cisco post office that we were fortunate enough to crash in last night so there you have it guys now we're off to montana